our smartphones can compete easily with dual core and even to an extent a lot of uh, enterprise customers who have been embracing tablets into their respective environment. From experiences and competitiveness of our new product offerings, pretty. And finally, just a quick overview of the roadmap and architectural enhancements. This was actually a single core. So you can, people tend to look at benchmarks, right? But the reality of it is, in everyday usage, if it seems that it replicates your previous phone, even if it's a quad core, that's how we that's how we look at it. It's the overall user experience. And one thing I can say, even without looking at benchmarks, is from a download and surfing perspective, the Acer Liquid C1 is very fast when it comes to downloads, and multi multitasking as well. And you can unplug at 6 a.m. I will die out at 10 p.m. 10 p.m. at by the way, when I do that, um, I have a good link, and uh, when we say good link, it's our it's our app that connects us connects us to the corporate email of uh, Intel. Um, I'm connect. I'm, I tether both my my phone and my iPad to it. Um, it's seven inches. So you know how much battery it could really drain. You know, it's huge. But uh, given that idea, I'm great. Huh? I would die out at 10 p.m. So that's the worst case scenario I've had with the phone pad. So if I were using it in weekend, uh, during weekends, which means I'm not really working on it, I just send SMS and receive calls. If I unplug Saturday morning, 6 a.m., I die out at 10 to 11 a.m. of the next day. So just imagine on what performance it gives you and long back in your life, uh, how, how that translates when you have internet inside. You know, um, when we first began trying to get into the phones with, with, with our customer, most of the telco distributors we have, and resellers, on the telco side, were always asking us, uh, what would be the difference if you have internet inside? Because the truth is, for, for the longest time, nobody even asked for what the CPU was inside any phone. Uh, so, we're glad to say that whatever goodness you know of about Intel for, for the notebooks and the desktop, so we always bring in performance and long battery life, it all translates now on the new implanted processor found inside your phones and tablets. A huge family of software engineers. So we've developed this version of Subway Server for uh, for Windows. So you all know this thing, right? But there, there were some enhancements that we did. Like uh, there's support for gyro, which you don't get on an iPad or. Uh, what? I'm not good at this. I'm not, uh, I'm not a gamer really. So that's what we have here. But have you heard about um, Blue Stacks? No, not yet. Right. It's a new third-party software that allows you to play uh, or use Android as if it were virtualized on a Windows 8 machine. So, for example, this is an Android, by the way. Yeah. So, you could see and experience uh, uh, the 1080p uh, graphics on this one. It's, you know, it's a heavy game. You could play, make use of your child and everything. Will you be working with other platforms like Ubuntu Mobile, uh, operating system, Tizen from Samsung? Are you, are, you working, are you going to be working with them? Oh, well definitely we are working with them. In fact, Tizen is, uh, is uh, actually part of the collaboration. Intel is actually one of the leading uh, partners who work. came up with Tizen. Yeah, but we are actually working with them for Tizen. Uh, the intent of Tizen was to have a, an OS for both uh, mobile notebook devices and then a smartphone so that we have uh, a seamless set of apps together for both. And since most of these machines are now on Intel as well, so you could expect optimization well across all devices when we come up with those. Even uh, Firefox uh, mobile OS, are you working with uh, the one that put up that platform also? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Oh, actually, almost all of Anybody, I think. Well, as I mentioned earlier as well, that, uh, actually, as, as most people would think that Intel is a, a hardware company, actually, 30% of our engineers are really on, on just software. software. Yeah. We have so, so many software developers.